Yeah. yeah. You know this. Well, yeah, I, I, I do, you know, have a subtle, makes me laugh a little bit. Uh, hey, d Lad, you're not here, so somebody else will ask the first question. We'll open it up. Michael. You, you can have it, Scott. I like all it. right, Scott, all right, a little change up here. I was like, yeah. uh, you know, got to keep you on your toes. There's so yeah. no much, much pressure on this guy. Uh, well, let's, let's start with uh, the guy who's talking after you. Uh, AJ, how do you think that he did on Sunday, and how has he been throughout the course of this season? He's been solid. Um, you know, he's he makes an impact on every game when he's out there. Um, you know, he continues to improve. He has some chances to pick the ball off, and I think next time he probably will. But he's playing pretty solid football. Not being thrown at a lot, what's the key for a cornerback to kind of keep that? Even if he's not seeing like Well, some of it activity. depends what we're playing. You know, yeah, it depends right. what your matchups are. It depends on the coverage. You know, some lot of times the coverage when you're outside, depending on what we call, ball, you know, dictate the ball goes somewhere else. But uh, he's, he's playing solid football. Uh, you, you, you mentioned the unsung heroes yesterday, guys like James and Mike and some of these guys are picking up in season and developing, bringing up off the practice sure. squad. To see the, the, the volume of contributions from guys like that in, the, in these victories, um, how key is that? It, you know, just for the entire staff, from the, like, from the guys bringing them in, from the coaches getting them ready, and sure. then they're making plays. Yeah, good question. No, it's uh, everybody involved. That's what I said. There's a lot of people that helps, it, it helps and it makes this thing go. So, uh, you know, the contributions you get from guys, I mean, it's a long season. You need that, you know, there, there's no scholarships given here. There's guys that everybody who bring here thinks they have a chance to play and contribute. So uh, it's really nice when you go out there and those guys are making an impact. So we said it yesterday, you know, from James Valder to Anthony Rush, there's, there's so many guys that have, that have been coming here and for a game or two, they've, they've had a big impact. Well, yeah, it seems like you, you've had a, a lot of guys working in the slot since, since Isaiah has been out. And is that still something that, that you're trying to figure out? It seemed like Eric was down there uh, a bit yesterday. I'm not looking to our game plans. Okay. A lot of different ways to, uh, you know, replace production, if you want to look at it that way. Again, everybody, if you want to, you want to take your little paper and go one for one. That's not how we operate. So that's part of coaching. And we'll continue depending on the game plan and who's – Who's up that week and what our matchups are, we'll we'll make the decision that fits us. Kind of want to follow a little bit on AJ. At what point when you got here did you maybe recognize that he had that potential to take that second year leap that a lot of the higher end corners do? Well, I think he's he's a good football player, but you know, it's a, it's an ongoing process. So I, you know, there's I think he could probably tell you he could still play better. Um, you know, I know that there's you know, some social media fanboy because of some you know, whether you look at some of these other uh, grading systems and whatever, but um, he's done a nice job, but he continued to get, he can continue to get better for us. Was there a moment during camp that, that stood out to you? Because it seemed like there was a point, I think it was maybe like that second or third week where every single day he was making one or two. I, I think that was probably, look, we got a lot of, Fabian Moreau's playing really good football. So, and I mean, I'm happy with both those guys. And uh, we, we just feel as a team, we can continue to get better. That's really what it is. And I think a lot of times it's, it's easy. Those are old, you know, guys are high draft picks. That, you know, they're going to draw a lot of attention. And it's like a snowball effect. And, you know, one play gets – there's a lot of guys making plays. And I'm uh, very pleased with AJ. There's, no, there's nothing wrong about it. But just like a lot of our guys, there's, there's things we can do better. Just like there's things I can do better every week. Uh, the, obviously, a lot of attention is on the – the final offensive drive, but you had a couple of offensive drives that were 14, 15 plays. I think, um, do you feel like you were able to, like, what was working in in those um, in those uh, scenarios, and is it encouraging to see, especially on that one, I think you burned 536 off the clock or something like that at the end of the first half, to, to see the offense get going like that? Yeah, I mean, it's a NFL football game. You know, you, you obviously the objective is to score every time you have the ball, unless you're in, you know, victory formation but it, it's, a, it's a game of back and forth it's good defense we were able to sustain some drives guys made some plays I thought our guys handled third down really well that, that's a, always an area of concern when you're down in an environment like that and we were able to extend those drives that ultimately ended in points uh, and that was a huge drive at the end of the half to chew up the clock to attend with a touchdown and essentially not give them a chance other than the, the kickoff 
touch the football because they're getting the ball after half, and that's what you want. It was a long drive, and to me, that's it was good, really, really good situational football. Do you think it was a good because that, that Saints defense is pretty good, and you know, sure, it's, it's NFL. Most of these defenses yeah. are good, so right. and you, that's what it comes down to. And that's a, that's a it's a good scheme. They got really good players, good coaches, and that's a tough environment. Uh, I believe Dalton can come back to practice this week. This can week. yeah. To activate him at least to practice. We'll just see. We'll, we'll, we'll take it day by day. There, there's, there's a chance. Uh, and as far as means, any more clarity on what's. Same. We'll take it day by day. And just when it comes to really, because we haven't talked, we haven't heard asked about it since you guys put him on NFI. What, what went into the decision to, to do that with, with Cal? We, it's just like you would if, if any injury. We think it's a, the best decision for for the player and for the team. That's pretty much what it came down to. Anything else? That's it. That's all you got. Nothing? All right. Thanks.